Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to see how we can filter the lookup record in Dynamics 365. So lookup is a data type, data type field which help us to uh, enter the value or relate to another table or entity in Dynamics 365. So if I have to show you, uh, this is sales trial. Let's go to uh, con contact entity, open Alex Baker. And here we there should be one lookup field account name. Okay, so account name is a lookup field. Now, if you click on enter here, we'll see there are a lot of records, right? This one, these are there may be hundred or thousand of records. And uh, this this lookup record is I think it's a polymorphic. It's having both accounts and contacts records. Now, <clears throat> my requirement is I want to show here only the records, only the contact records who are active records but not all the records. Currently, it is showing me all the contacts. If I click on contacts, it is showing me all the contacts. If I go back, if I click on uh, accounts, it will show all the contacts, but we may be having some accounts or contacts or le let's say any entity case, which may have a status like active, inactive, completed, on hold, something like that. So I want to show only active records here, not all the records. So for that, uh, I have uh, my, this is the account form here. I have primary contact field and you can see this is currently it is showing the recent contacts. So this is also can be configured. I'm going to show you. So if I click on OK, this is inactive record. This is active record. I want only active records to be visible here. So here it is already done in the test lookup. If you click OK here, we, we are not able to see. This is also contact lookup, but we are not uh, this. Sorry, the deactivated contact is not in the records. So for that, we are going to filter the records in the form. So come here. Now we have the solution called August solution and the form is account form. So if you open the form, we have the filtering attributes there. So information form. Information form because this is information form here. Okay. So now let's see that look of field where it is located and then we are going to filter it filter that attribute. so we have parent sorry primary contact here and you can see filtering is here so just click on this drop down and currently it is showing all the contacts irrespective of its status so right now i am only going to set it for the active contacts so you can also if you are, want to show it inactive contacts or only your active contacts my connection anything can choose it from here so currently i'm going to select only active contacts and uh, allow users to change no also uh, recent let me see if if i can disable the recent records okay that i'll select later so let's save and publish so earlier in the parameter contact it, it was showing deactivated record as well but it now it should not so so let it save and publish and after this if you have some other requirement like uh, prime here in the record it should only show the records which uh, name starts with some XYZ or who is created today or within this span of time, all those things you can configure. I'm going to show you that as well right now. So let's do a hard refresh. And in the primary contact, if I click on enter, now you can see only four records are visible, not the deactivated record, but earlier we were getting deactivated record as well. Now, suppose if I have requirement where, uh, so if I want to create another one, see primary, this is the lookup in the filtering attribute. I, I do not want any of these things. These are already configured. So I want some other, um, I want to have, I have another requirement and based on that requirement only, I want to show the record in this lookup. So for that, we, these all are view, okay, view. So I'm going to create another view. Let's, where is it? Go to the advanced setting. And in the advanced setting, we are going to create a new view and add it into that filter filtering criteria. So solutions, we can do it from here as well, but uh, let's see from classic view only. So entities, we have contact right in the view. So I'm going to create a new view. Let's give it as test. Okay. And uh, I want to see the account name. 
which contains edit filter criteria let's see what are the conditions we can add it here so contact name starts with okay let's see equals okay not this one <clears throat> created on if we have which is created by me okay created equals okay you can select the user as well from here and only the records which are created by that user will be visible in that lookup field but i'm going to select it as current user right now equals to current user click on ok now click on save you can add uh, you can add another filter criteria as well if you come here you have the option to uh, add another row as well so some contact uh, account name contains let's see if i have any account name that starts with not this one dynamics okay so here starts with contains dynamics this one let's just remove it because i am only the user so it will show me all the records okay click save and close come here let's just give a refresh and i need to select that view here in the filtering criteria so primary contact go to the filtering criteria here let's select our our view which we have created right now so test okay it is not showing maybe we need to publish it once so come here let's let's publish it okay and it is published now so let's come here in the form refresh it now it should be visible so primary contact filtering criteria all contacts contact 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 okay let me see if it is here or not first so we have views right in the view we have test okay then why it is not showing here let's go back sometimes it may take time after the public uh, when we have published it so that's okay it happens in the dynamics it takes some time to reflect so information Okay, I got it. So here uh, we have created the view inside inside the account entity, right? But here we are seeing <clears throat> the contacts. This is a uh, this is a contact lookup. So we need to create the view inside the contact, not inside the account. So view, click on new, test contact. Now it should get visible. Click on OK, edit filter criteria. I want the first name. What do we have here? Let's see. We have first name and middle name, right? Okay, so first name should start with. First name contains first names. Okay. okay. Click on save and close. Okay. 
okay now here <coughs> it should be reflected here because now we have created that view inside the contact okay primary contact go to the filtering criteria this time I'm sure it should be there so here we have test contact click on save and close save and publish now it should show me uh, the records who have only who contains uh, this Rajneesh only okay so let's wait for it to get published same thing we can do with the other lookup as well suppose if here we have parent account right so if you go to the filtering criteria uh, currently it is it's not having any a criteria right so if i select for test lookup and filtering criteria we have filter by related raw rows or default lookup view you can choose it from here you can uh, select it view whatever you want to all this filtering criteria you can select it from here okay and in the above if you want to use from the most so uh, here we have the options of recent items so that one if you want if you do not want uh, recent items there you can simply disable it from here as well so now let's create a new contact and see if that uh, filtering is working or not filtering criteria now see it is only showing the record which is having Rajneesh and other records are not getting visible same way if I select for, this is also contact but here it should show me all the records see it's showing all the records so this is all about uh, filtering criteria and uh, filter the lookup records <clears throat> now we have another uh, um, another requirements as well like uh, if I want to show here in the this is only contact right now so I want to make it as a polymorphic lookup where I can see uh, the lookup of uh, contact, case, or maybe some organization, any other thing. Those all things we can do using the polymorphic lookup that I will be showing in another video. So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.